There are people out there with some seriously genius level IQ. Big brain experts that think outside of the box and find amazing new ways of doing things. They're masters at finding loopholes and exploiting them for their own benefit. But these aren't necessarily criminals. These clever individuals mostly work within the rules. They've just figured out a way to beat the system at its own game. Ready to meet the people living in the year 3021? Let's get it on. Found in a museum in Japan lies the ultimate carnival trick. Inside a transparent Perspex box, you can find a 12 kilogram solid gold ingot worth over $650,000. Cut into the side of the clear plastic is a small hole that's only fractionally bigger than a person's forearm. It's also positioned high enough to make maneuvering the ingot somewhat difficult. And despite this, through a combination of hand contortions, phenomenal finger strength, and pure determination, there have been a few who have figured out a way to beat this seemingly impossible possible challenge. Unfortunately, these geniuses don't get to keep the gold. Instead, winners are given a gold-plated card worth about $40. Consolation prize, I guess. We've all played the claw machine game at the arcade with varying success. It doesn't seem to matter how perfect your timing and positioning, the game just seems rigged against you. Even if you get a good grip on a fluffy toy, the claw always gives out right before reaching the chute. It's not impossible, but often a $2 prize can cost you $50 in failed attempts. This leads to people inventing ingenious ways to level the playing field. In this case, magnets, strong enough to attract the metal in the toy through the glass to claim her prize. Huh, brilliant. In the world of celebrity and social media influencers, sometimes you have to fake it till you make it. This is especially true for Josh Peters, a London-based YouTuber who pulled off an incredible look-alike prank that fooled hundreds at a boxing match in LA. In 2019, Josh hired Ty, an Ed Sheeran doppelganger from Manchester, and flew him out to the US to attend an exhibition boxing match between KSI and Logan Paul. Josh and Ty received VIP treatment, with many fans asking for photos with the fake celebrity. <laughs> One British newspaper even ran an article about Sheeran's attendance at the event. While they might have fooled everyone there, the internet wasn't so convinced. If you're not confident of your skills on the old claw machine game, there are other ways to beat the system. Of course, you should never repeat what you see, but at some point, you gotta be impressed with their out-of-the-box thinking, or should I say, in the box. The first video was filmed in Taiwan, and our video's protagonist is a fairly grown man, grown up and very flexible by the looks of it. And oh, he seems to really like toys. Looks like this guy can bend every part of his body. It's unbelievable how he could come up with something like that, but in the end, he achieved his goal. However, it's not just adults who seem to be able to do this. Sometimes even little innocent kids give it a go, like the child in this clip. That's one way to do it, I guess, if you don't suffer from claustrophobia. If you want to master the claw machine game, you need at least three things. An understanding of physics, some good luck, and a whole lot of quarters. But there's something else that all classic fighter games will know all too well. The art of the button mash. Sometimes just hitting every button as fast and as randomly as possible can trigger the most intense super combos. Kind of like how this guy swivels the claw to create speed, eventually hooking his prize perfectly. Ever since getting fired from his job at a shoe store, Frenchman Rémy Gillard decided he would dedicate his life to crafting elaborate pranks that involved infiltrating famous sports teams by impersonating players, inserting himself in the celebrations. He managed to join in the post-match party when Lorient won the 2002 Coup de France final, cheering with the players and even getting a handshake from the then-French president, Jacques Chirac. But it was his 2015 Volleyball World Cup prank that really takes the cake. Rémy dressed as a French volleyballer, descended unnoticed from the stands just as the winning French side was getting ready for their team photo. The comedian slipped in seamlessly and was immortalized in the official team photo, the ultimate photo bomb. Bill Gates once famously said, I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. There's a lot of truth in that, especially in the backbreaking world of construction. Why tire yourself over something a machine can do faster? This worker discovered that not all jobs require a sacrifice of your knee ligaments, especially if you have someone on hand to operate the machinery. Why work hard when you can hardly work? In the summer of 2017, temperatures in the UK soared past records set since 1976. Several boys from the ISCA Academy in Devon asked if they could wear shorts to combat the extreme heat. Teachers promptly shut down their request, stating that shorts weren't part of the official uniform policy. When the boys pointed out that girls could wear skirts, the teachers jokingly said if the boys wanted to wear skirts, they were free to do so. And with that, a rebellion was born. Up to 30 boys turned up in their sisters' tartan skirts to protest the policy. They got relief from the heat and force the school to rethink its uniform rules.
While we can never condone theft or robbery, sometimes you just gotta sit back and admire the cunning audacity of some smooth criminals. Like this guy, who's just asked this Rolex clerk if he can look at a $16,000 ring under natural light. She's agreed, and they stand out in front of the store while he pretends to admire its sparkling qualities. Then as she goes to usher him back inside, he casually walks off like nothing even happened. Landscaping and lawn care is a great job if you want to stay fit and get out in the great outdoors. There's a lot of walking involved, long lines, pushing the lawn mower or line trimmer up and down the sidewalk. It's exhausting work. Fortunately, there are some gardeners out there living in the year 3021. Either that or they can't afford a real ride on mower. Either way, you gotta give a hand to this guy who figured out how to get his work done in half the time while having a little fun too. In 2018, the internet was set ablaze when an anonymously posted photo of Justin Bieber eating a horizontally held burrito went viral on the mildly infuriating subreddit. Two distinct questions would emerge. Was this really Justin Bieber and do some people really eat burritos this way? It appears the second question mattered to people the most as everyone seemed to accept that this was quintessential Biebs homeless fashion. It turns out it was a staged PR stunt by popular YouTube channel Yes Theory and their video exposing their prank has since racked up 20 21 million views and counting. There's nothing more frustrating than missing out tickets to your favorite concert or sports match. Whether it's sold out or you're no longer welcome, getting inside is just impossible for some people. Just like in the case of Turkish football fan Ali Demirkaya. For reasons unknown, Ali has been banned from attending matches at Denizli Atatürk Stadium, so he came up with a solution that didn't involve trespassing. Irregular Ali, as he's nicknamed, rented a crane, parking it outside the stadium to hoist himself up and enjoy the match. The diehard fan waved flying and led chance as he marveled at his own evil genius. <laughs> I'm thinking a disguise would have been easier. I hate to be the one who says it, but once you pop, you can't stop. This is especially true for this half writer, half crazy inventor who was frustrated at his low Pringle per minute eating rate while working. Rather than sacrificing precious working time or Pringle volume, he's created an ingenious hands-free chip feeding contraption to satisfy those mid-paragraph cravings. Now his only problem is reloading the empty tins. Sometimes boredom can inspire the most painfully useless comical inventions. There's the mouth curtains, hand crocs, and let's not forget the iPhone lens wiper. But for you avid golfers with office jobs, you can now putt at work to your heart's content. You never have to worry about climbing under the desks of your coworkers to retrieve your wayward balls ever again. Introducing the putting rod. We're not exactly sure why, but if fidget spinners exist, this should be super popular. There's no doubt that amusement parks are frustrating. There's overpriced tickets, long ride queues, and more Karens than I can possibly count. Despite this, as parents, you always want to give your children that exciting thrill of a roller coaster at full speed. So if your little one isn't quite tall enough to ride the monster coasters, what's the next best thing? A virtual reality ride featuring a big screen and dad mimicking the cart's movements for extra realism. Let's just hope there's no loop-the-loops.